So I wasn't actually gonna record a video today, but well, now well, what can you do? As a content creator, I'm constantly on my phone uh, doing things that are related to my content, whether it be emailing people back, uh, talking to people on social media, or just checking up on how my channel is doing in that particular day. So today I want to bring you five apps to help manage your channel and just to make this list a little bit uh, better in general in my mind because we all use social media. I'm going to exclude the basic social media apps, things like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, those things are out. So first on my list is YouTube Studio app. Now the studio app is basically the creator studio just in mobile format for your phone or tablet. And basically its usefulness comes down to being able to keep an eye on videos that you just posted uh, with real time view statistics as well as being able to respond to comments um, from all your different videos from one simple screen. You just click on the comment that was posted and then you can respond directly from the studio app. It makes that whole process much simpler and you never have to enter the actual full YouTube app to do that. In addition, you have your normal analytics like revenue streams, uh, view counts, um, a few different ways of sorting through those, whether it be rolling totals, uh, lifetime totals, all those statistics are just at your fingertips and it's just really nice to be able to check up on those at any given time. The next app is a little bit obvious as well, but again, it helps keep tabs on your channel and that is the Social Blade uh, Live Subscriber Count app. Now, if you're like me, you're a little bit obsessed with always checking up on your YouTube channel to see just how many subscribers you're gaining or losing. Now, this app does exactly Exactly what it sounds like it gives you the live uh, figure for that and it just does it in a simple format as well as giving you the ability to favorite multiple channels so you can quickly check up on those channels whether it be because you have multiple channels that you want to keep tabs on that are your own channels or you just want to check out your favorite youtubers from time to time now next I'm just gonna sort of lump in the entire Google suite whether it be Google Drive Google Calendar uh, Docs sheets slides all those Google services outside of YouTube that you use on a regular basis whether it be to uh, write scripts plan your content uh, in advance. However it is that you use that Google Keep would be another good one for making simple checklists of things that you need to get done for your channel. All those apps wrapped into one, I just sort of include all those together because they are great for content creators as well as very many different uh, working fields. The next app is simply called Audio Recorder and this app is just a super simple uh, audio recorder that has no ads on top of it. It gives you a few different quality options for your recordings. You can record in either mono or stereo. If you have your own additional mobile uh, microphone that is designed for smartphones, then this is a great app to take advantage of that if you're just wanting something for audio. And by the way, this entire clip was done through my Google Pixels um, onboard microphone. However, as always with any sort of hardware based on a smartphone, your uh, results will vary based on what smartphone it is that you have. And the last one out there for content creators is sort of a niche product in that most social media platforms and most apps in general now allow you to have uh, multiple accounts on one app and then just be able to sort of switch back and forth on the fly. One notable exception, however, is the Snapchat app, and the fill-in for that is called Parallel Spaces. Now this app is a very simple concept and it does have ads incorporated into it, which is a little bit of a buzzkill, but basically it allows you to run a second instance of a specific app, say Snapchat, since that's the one we're using as our example, with a different account logged into that one. So you can have your personal Snapchat account uh, on your phone and then you can load up maybe your channel's Snapchat separately and not have to switch back and forth logging in and then logging back out to switch accounts. Instead, you can just open up parallel space and hop directly into your second Snapchat account, post from that and use it just like normal and then immediately go back to your other Snapchat, maybe your personal Snapchat account. And as an added bonus, guys, the screen was captured for this video using an app called AZ Screen Recorder and it does, again, exactly what you would expect. It just records your smartphone screen and it puts out a video using exactly what was on your screen. Also, you have the audio options of doing things like recording your microphone input as well as the actual phone's output. So you can be recording either just what's coming from the phone or you can actually add a voiceover directly from the same app, uh, which could eliminate the need for something external like an extra audio recorder. 
So if you like this content and you want to see more things about managing your own YouTube channel, give me a like, share, subscribe, comment down below and tell me if you use any of these apps or what are some other mobile apps that you use to manage your own channel. You can also follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. They're the same tag for your convenience. And as always, we'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos for my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware and I'll catch you guys in the next video.